Hi folks. The other day, one of my banjo students posed a really interesting question. And what he said to me was that he felt like when he was slowing songs and tunes down to practice them, that they didn't sound right, that they didn't sound like the song I showed him, whether by playing it or tabbing it out or whatever. And uh, he was wondering if he was doing something wrong or if there was something going on there. And I'm sure this is an experience that most any beginning player of a banjo or any instrument has encountered. Why, when I play slowly, doesn't it sound like it's supposed to sound? First off, no, it's not you. Assuming that you've got the notes right, there's actually a phenomenon that goes on there. It doesn't have so much to do with the notes as much as it has to do with the space between the notes. And I think there's a bit of a Goldilocks effect that happens. Just like a piece can be played so fast that there's hardly any space between the notes, and it doesn't feel musical anymore, it just feels like a blaze of notes. The opposite of that is if you put too much space between the notes, it doesn't sound like music either. And uh, maybe what's going on here is in that zone where you can play it slowly or you can play it more up-tempo and it, it sounds like music, it sounds like the piece, that's where you can insert feeling into the music. So, you know, there's this Goldilocks zone where you as an individual might play it more slowly than somebody who plays it more fast, but both of you are able to insert your feeling into the music. If you slow it down beyond that zone, you can't put feeling into it, it doesn't sound right. If you speed it up above that zone, it doesn't feel right either. It doesn't have feeling and it doesn't sound like music to you. So yeah, too much space between the notes and it doesn't sound right anymore. And the thing is, when you're practicing a piece and it isn't sounding right, remember this. You're slowing it down not to make music, but to develop muscle memory so that your hands, both here and up on the neck, know what to do without you thinking about it. And then you can focus on putting your feeling into the music. So let me share some ideas that I hope will encourage you to keep on this course. Number one, trust the process. Keep it slow. Keep at it. Speed will come in time. Whatever speed you want to get it up to, it's important to develop that muscle memory. So trust the process. The second thing is get yourself a recording app that allows you to slow down and speed up pieces of music. Record yourself with that app and then speed it up and slow it down. A lot of times what will happen is you're saying, God, I'm playing it so slowly, it just doesn't sound right. Pick up the tempo with the app, and I bet you you're going to say, oh, wow, it, it's starting to sound like something. Again, it might not be all the way there because when you're playing so slowly, you're not playing with feeling, you're playing to develop muscle memory. So even when it's more up-tempo, it still might not sound quite right, but it's going to sound more like it should. Uh, second thought here, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. You tell that over and over and over again. After you've slowed it down, you've played it for a while, pick up the pace, play it a little faster. And the reason for that is that certain phrases and stretches of a song or a tune, you're going to be able to play more easily, and then other parts are going to be the pinch points, the difficult parts. There's an iterative process here that goes on. Play it slowly, pick up the pace, see where you trip, focus on that trip point, and rather than playing the whole piece slowly over and over, just focus on that measure, that segment, that phrase. Play that over slowly until it gets smoothed out. Put it back in the piece. Speed it up again. See if you can get through it. Great, you can. Oh, here's another trip point. Do the same thing. So, you know, after the initial bit of just playing very slowly just to get through the notes, do start playing the piece faster. Push yourself a little bit. And then isolate those segments that are the trouble spots and work those over and over again. So practice smart. And that's all part of the process. Yes, there is a phenomenon that happens when you slow a piece down to the point where it doesn't really sound musical anymore. It doesn't sound like it should. It has to do with too much space between the notes to the point where there's no feeling in the music. These are just notes stretched that don't really feel connected to one another. But again, the point of that slowing down is to develop muscle memory. 
not to play music. Once you've developed that muscle memory, start picking up the pace, see where the trouble spots are in a piece of music, and as I said, get yourself a recording app on whatever device you have that allow you to speed up and slow down recordings. Record yourself playing slowly and then speed it up and see what it sounds like. And I bet you you'll find out that it does sound more musical. So there's my thoughts on that particular topic. No banjo playing today. Hopefully you found this useful. And as always, keep on picking.